Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. I trust you enjoyed the... Dunwall's hospitality. The masked criminal is believed to be hiding in a quarantine district. All citizens must report unexplained lights, odd sounds, and signs of conflict originating from evacuated buildings. Lord Pendleton is anxious to see you. I think he is taking his morning refreshment. You did it. And now we've done away with a woman, and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally, I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style and at some risk to yourself. I want to thank you for it. This little item has been helpful to my family over the generations. But I think you'll find more use for it than I ever will. Go on. Take it. You've had a long night, Corvo. But I fear it's not over. Havelock and Marden have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now, in Havelock's chambers above the bar. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The streets adjacent to Boyle Manor remain off-limits pending an ongoing investigation. Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything. Copper wiring is making all the difference. Increasing the output by almost 50% yet. The whale oil still has too many impurities. I need to find a way to filter it myself if that idiot can't provide a better grade. Even the Academy doesn't have anything that will refine it to the specifications I require. Something new then. Perhaps using charcoal or a multiple chamber device. I feel confident that the answer will come to me tonight as I slumber. Study. And as Empress, you'll have proper tutors, one for each subject, and many personal servants. She asks if she'll have spies. Yes, I tell her. I suppose you will. And advisors. So many advisors your head will spin. She wants a cake maker. Well, I tell her you'll have a whole kitchen staff with an army of chefs. And of course she asks if she can have cake every, every day. And I say if that is your wish, my young Empress, which always makes her giggle. Sometimes she gets so sad, remembering these things. They remind her of a poor mother. It's been six months, and Emily is resilient, but sometimes I can hear her crying when she thinks I'm asleep.
Pendleton's here someplace. The river's the only way out of here. Things are moving pretty fast now, eh? All that with Lady Boyle just now will probably put the Lord Regent into a state. I'll be ready in case you need to leave. Hello, love. Corvo, the time has come. Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable. And now everything is in place to strike at him. But one step from the throne. One man, one beating heart, is all that's left of the forces that brought this city to the brink of ruin. It is simple, but it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers, the Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov, who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower, he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterfall. Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. Ready to face the Lord Regent? About time we took care of my say. Long past time. This is it, Corvo. Your last memories of Dunwall Tower might not be good ones, huh? So maybe you can make up for what happened back then. It'll be a bit of a climb from the water lot. The most important thing is killing the Lord Regent. He built himself quite a place at the top of the tower. He calls it his safe room or something. Crazy if you ask me. Another point of interest while I'm giving you the grand tour, Corvo. Broadcast control station here where all them announcements come from might be worth looking into. You ready? Next time I see you, the Lord Regent will be dead. And if not, well, it was an honor to serve with you.
Aldo got docked for whistling on duty. Region ass. How's he gonna hear this assassin cop? <laughs> Attention Dunwall Tower personnel. All new assignments report directly to the duty officer. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Never doubt it. Attention, Dunwall Tower personnel. Remain on post until you receive further orders.
my pen. Begging your pardon, sir, but I think it would be best if you should. I need the comfort of my own bed tonight. Trust you and your men depend on the tower security. I thought it got to. Come see me before you finish your rounds. Yes, as you wish, Lord Regent. I'm heading up. Keep this area secure and use that alarm if there's any sign of trouble. Yes, sir. It's just ridiculous. Stupid rats. Plague. Elixir. Bunch of crap. <clears throat> I don't know. Stupid goddamn. I'll find somehow. Citywide ban on whale oil is now in effect. Citizens are encouraged to bring any whale oil in their possession to the city watch at once. Anyone caught burning oil will be subject to arrest. This message is a directive from the Lord Regent himself. We must all trust in the re Please, please don't hurt me. You're here to kill the Regent, aren't you? Spare my life and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph, secrets. Some that would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier, his confessions would be broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room. But I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck. Any number of things. This was my chair. Things have changed. Remember to have tea sent up later. My apologies, Lord Regent.
my dog. Emily, my daughter, I know that one day you'll be grown up, and I wonder what you'll remember of these years. Will you recall your time as a child with fondness? Or were there too many caretakers, formal dinners and lessons about boring old history? Maybe the precious hours we spent together will shine brighter. Time captured now and then with your mother and with Corvo, who was always close to my heart. I hope this season of rats and plague will be nothing more than a passing shadow on your early memories. A crisis come and passed, weathered by your mother and her advisors. You'll sit on the throne someday, and will do well, I hope. It's a tricky life, full of responsibility and peril. It was not your choice to be the daughter of an empress. But I believe you'll rise to the challenge. Stay good-hearted, Emily. Keep drawing and telling stories. And only share your power with those you truly trust. <laughs>